Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Eight wins in a row. Eight is enough. That's what they said on the TV show, but you know what? I disagree. 800 is enough. AGG9 SCRL. Um, damage, shot speed, range, seem okay, rate of fire. I mean, the rate of fire, yeah, good. Good use of Book of Secrets right there. Rate of fire doesn't seem bad, but um, it is a one on the screen, but as we've established, many times the stat screen is not necessarily the most uh unbiased arbiter or indicator of, of how your run is actually going and honestly this this run seems really really well suited right now uh to the start we got petrified poop one of those it's one of my favorite trinkets in the game in the sense that it's got a really interesting mechanics to it in that in the early game it's amazing and then as you get a little bit further um it, it starts to be less and less useful in my opinion at least but uh it's probably not a secret room, but it might be. We'll find out, I suppose. Um, in the early game, it, it really could make the difference between, you know, having a lot of momentum and having slightly less than a lot of momentum, depending on how your run is going. Um, because we should be able to generate enough money to buy something from the shop on this floor and possibly be able to uh, also guarantee ourselves a chance at an arcade for the next floor. And who knows how that could kind of, you know, butterfly effect or, you know, snowball out into something uh, more meaningful for us here. Whether that gives us an extra blood bag, or we can replace Book of Shadows or Book of Secrets with the IV bag. Or we could replace Book of Secrets with Book of Shadows, even though that's irrelevant to Petrified Poop. It could still be a, a useful improvement. Not that I'm uh, disappointed necessarily to have Book of Secrets right now. It's not, uh, you know, the world's greatest item, but it's, it's far from terrible, I suppose. There we go. So, bear with me here. Samson's Chain was the other item we got here, in case you're just listening. And you're wondering, hey, stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down, except I can't because I'm in bed and I'm trying to sleep or something. Can't you just tell me what's happening? Yes, it's Samson's Chain. And we're laboriously cutting down every single rock that stands in our way. But it's been for a, a good cause. We've gotten a lot of money. Enough consumables to feel good for the next floor or two about how, uh, you know, life's going for us. I guess we should be cracking pots as well. You never know when they could contain the quarter. You never know when they could contain a couple of spiders and just annoy the Christ out of you. That would be another good room for us to, uh, get the ability to fly, I suppose. There is our shop. You know that I'm looking at this and I'm like, this is gonna go terribly wrong. There we go. First three pots done. Just get back to the other one. Don't step on the spikes, though. I'd really rather you didn't step on the spikes. Oh, two cents. Is it all worth it? I really don't want to use a bomb for the last one, having come this far. This is more due diligence than I ever do on an Isaac run. I don't know what to say. Um, I think we'll probably buy the battery, just in case, and maybe the spirit heart as well, but we'll see. We still have an item room to get to on this floor. Bob's Curse is a good pickup early game, but uh, I'm hoping that maybe we'll use that for, uh, well, something like this, for example, would be a pretty good uh, choice. And that's more than enough money to buy a Spirit Heart and be able to get into our uh, arcade amount for the next floor. Let's just see what's in here. Cricket's Body is going to lower our range, but our range is high enough that I think the trade-off here is really good. This is weirdly like a slow start, but it's a slow start for a good reason. It's not that our damage or DPS is particularly poor. So we have a lot of potential areas with which to garner an advantage here. So uh, I'm pretty pleased about this. I think we should, in all likelihood, come down here by the Spirit Heart. I'd rather have Book of... Sh I mean, I'm saying this with a little bit of a questioning tone in my voice because I'm not sure, but I think I'd rather have... Uh, I think I'd rather have the uh, Book of... Secrets? Man, the money is a little ridiculous. I think I'd rather have Book of Secrets than have, uh... The deck of cards, but... May not... They may be a little short-sighted, let's put it that way. There's no way we're getting over there unless we get the ability to fly. So, I guess maybe, in some ways, we're hoping we fight the Headless Horseman here. Instead, it's Ragman, because it's always Ragman. And it's always been Ragman, okay? We're almost done with it already here. And I'm going to thank Cricket's Body, I'm going to thank Bob's Curse, and I'm going to thank all of you for watching. This has been this episode of Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Ice Gatorbirth. Come back for part two. Will we be able to survive the basement? I'm just joking. 
<laughs> it's the seller. Okay. Now we can see if I may quote Portland based punk band The Thermals. Um, we have a secret room. We have a bombs are key pill. Fairly irrelevant. Just good information to have, I suppose. And that's fairly worthless as well. We have a boss trap room. We have no arcade. That's all right. You can't rely on the arcade showing up. It's just a. It's not a Hail Mary, like it's a pretty high percentage play. It's worth taking the risk, you know. Rather go for that 40 yard gain than, uh, you know, an average of 3.4 yards per carry on the run or something like that. But I think that um, this run is set up very nicely. We haven't struck out on any items so far. Worst case scenario, you'd be like, ah, you know, I would prefer to not have Samson's Chains, maybe. But I, I think that that's relatively inconsequential right now. Um, we might be able to go to our boss trap room, and we might be able to go to our boss trap room and still roughly be on schedule um, for boss rush, which is something, you know, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't on my mind. We got a good run going here. How could I not be uh, somewhat interested in the idea of getting to boss rush? Dark Bum from an item room is pretty ridiculous. So we'll let him pick up uh, this HP while we just kind of... Farm up whatever we can get out of these pots, which is uh, very little, but that's all right as well. We got another shop coming up. We'll probably... Wow, we did not get hit there. Disregard. Yeah, this is fine. Three cents for a death card, not amazing, but, but not bad. And we'll just use the death card on whatever room seems like most plausible to use it on. I didn't really want to buy... Um, like a new item or anything like that, because I think we're in a relatively okay position for that. With the battery, it helps out a little bit. Didn't really want to buy consumables, because it looks like we're fine on consumables. I thought we'd look for, like, a Hierophant card or something like that. I guess we're saving death for the next floor. And... just run. Alright, so the haunt. Probably the two hardest first floor bosses. But, uh, I mean, that's a good indication that our run is going really well. If we have basically no struggle whatsoever here. And our HP is pretty ridiculous. Spirit hearts are off the chain. Thanks to Dark Bum and Super Bandage and uh, a couple of well-timed Tinted Rocks. Still shouldn't be excited that I took damage against the Haunt. That's a little embarrassing given the fact that, you know, I have like 3,000 hours in this game. But luckily on this run, it doesn't matter too much. Tears Up is really good. And a Krampus fight. So we won't be going to our boss trap room, that's for sure. I think we'll just pop the death card right there. And the reason I did that is so I could hold on to this card. And it was a little bit of a gamble, but, you know, again, a fairly low risk and low reward one. I, I gotta be honest with you, Krampus' head is probably better than Book of Secrets. But, um, I don't know. It's kind of a novel choice for us to be rolling Book of Secrets here. Certainly the mapping uh, in the late game could be useful for us, and with the battery, as long as we can, you know, pop two charges immediately, then go down to the next floor with two full charges, we're in a really good setup for, uh, you know, knowing where the heck we have to go. Can skip dead ends if we want, who needs a map and a compass, etc, etc. And I really feel like... It's kind of quiet right now. Like, the um, the run is kind of quiet, if you know what I mean. But it, it has the potential for explosive growth. Because the way I see it... Luck up, luck up, luck... Ah. The way I see it, um, with every tier's upgrade, and every extra shot that ends up being on the screen, every tier effect has its uh, usefulness amplified. So, not only do we have a decent tier stat, and also we got the tier's upgrade from the, um, from the last boss fight, um, we have Cricket's Body, which is a tiers upgrade and also puts a lot more tiers on the battlefield directly. You know, not even just as a result of our increased rate of fire allowing us to shoot more quickly. Um, so as a result, anything like piercing shots, homing shots, I think becomes that much more useful. And, uh, Headless Baby, you know, maybe not the most important upgrade I've ever seen in video gaming history, but, uh... I'll roll with it either way. And I think that... For enemies like that, we got super lucky to not get hit there. But for enemies like the, you know, that rush us down, I'm starting to become a little bit more fond of it. We'll certainly take Hive Mind, and honestly, I think nothing else in there is really warranted, but we are buying, like, an item per shop, which is a little ridiculous. I'd say the average is probably, like, one item per shop per game. So to get one item per shop per floor is a little silly. 
a lot of good secret room luck and petrified poop occasionally coming through in the clutch for us as well. For now, though. Not a guppy item, but three spiders does mean a lot when we have uh, Hive Mind going on with us as well. I guess we'll just see what we've got going here. You know what? This is actually like a perfect situation for us to have a deal with the Angel. Because I'm not behind the eight ball. So many times you're like, okay, I, I need deals with the Devil because my damage sucks. But the first deal with the Devil didn't have any opportunity for me to gain precedent. So I gotta go deals with the Angel, unfortunately. Um, this one, we, our DPS is totally fine. I would love to get uh, some deals with the Angel. Fight Mega Satan. Maybe get a chance to pick up some of those low percentage angel items that we don't see all that often. Don't mind if I do. And again, the mapping's helping out here. After spending so much time on the first floor, we are still, like, very much in a place where we can go to boss rush. Which is, oh, it could be magic mush. It is mini mush, but that's still pretty good. I can't hide my disappointment, but it's still okay. And the speed upgrade in particular is maybe the most useful part there. Okay, this could be good. I, I really, at this point, the money is secondary. Luck upgrades would be nice. Health upgrade would be nice. Just more fodder for potential deals with the devil. Even though I said I want deals with the angel, the deal with the devil is still probably the most likely. And um, we did get the IV bag there. So really, this one's shaping up very, very easily so far. We've had a couple of... I mean, we've had a loss semi recently for sure. But we've also had a couple of close calls... Um, this one does not appear to be in close call territory. Where is close call territory? Of course, that's in the, uh, Canadian municipality of Belleville, Ontario. Home of the, well, former home of the Belleville Bulls. Also home of Quinty Maximum Security Prison, I think? Okay, never mind. This run could get shaky. And I, I do still believe in the power of the one room. I do. One room to rule them all. Let's do this. 2020. The mind. Capricorn. Pyro. I mean, this seems actually still also good, though. So, like, this is pretty sweet, I guess. We got a little brim. The mind compensates for the fact that we lost our um, spirit hearts. Fruitcake's a little dangerous, admittedly, but 2020 Capricorn. Like, we rolled pretty well there. We might have gone from a, a 6 to a 5. Not at a 10, but on like a dice level. Um, but, you know, I, I don't think we went from like a, a 10 to a 0 or something like that. <laughs> on a, This time on an out of 10 level for some reason. Just to make it confusing, I suppose. Are we immune to explosions? I don't believe so. But I thought we exploded there, but we're not hurt. So I was a little surprised. Would be the way that I would put it. Okay, and sure, we can kill everything in here. That doesn't bother me. So, how do we change our playstyle now? Well, I think it makes the most sense to uh, continue to continue to use little brim as often as possible and as effectively as possible. We got 99 bombs, so um, those might be something we consider. You know what? We should probably get rid of petrified poop for liberty cap instead. Puberty. That's not the same pill. One makes you larger. One makes you larger. Sure, let's take two of those. Call me in the morning. Hematemesis bombs are key. That might seem a little ridiculous, and it might be the wrong way to handle it, but I was like, ah, let's give ourselves 94 keys. That way we never have to... Oh, dang it. That way we never have to worry about this again. Can you, can you fucking stop shooting? Thank you. Kidney stone with our familiars having some unusual effects there. Um, it's like, yeah, let's never have to worry about keys again. That sounds nice to me. Gotta push the button. This is your first day playing the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. You gotta push the button, you dummy. Um, you know what? Let's not check either. I want to save our money. Worst case scenario, donate. We've been milking our donation machine a little bit. Or we'll just buy something else. In the future. For now, though. Dark one. actually feel like I, I almost would prefer to never use Unicorn Horn, but I will use Unicorn Horn. Uh, it might be comparable to our DPS, which was why I didn't want to do it in the first place. I thought it would be worse than our DPS. We got stem cells, we got empty vessel, and we got spirit of the night. So we don't really need empty vessel. Although the invincibility from it can sometimes be useful. Um, spirit of the night is awesome. Empty vessel is great as well, if we can get to use it. Uh, and we don't have any other abilities to fly. If we have other abilities to fly, it's okay. 
It's not like I'm I'm insulted by it, and you know, at this point, to be honest with you, one HP doesn't make that much of a difference. Please stop. I have a very limited number of bombs. You're shooting them out of the way and annoying the Christ out of me. Get stop taking my money! You're always stealing my money. You never steal my nucleation. It doesn't. Re I, I was thinking there. Here's here's the way that bit was gonna go. I work at a, you know, some kind of like chemical plants, and I'm like, you know, maybe it's good that you're stealing my money and not stealing my nucleation, because my nucleation is what allows me to get the money in the first place, I guess. It's a special, you know, this is, this is why I abandoned the joke halfway through. It wasn't really coming through in the clutch, you know, I baited it, and then um, people decided, eh, we're not really liking it, and I said, okay, let's cancel it. I, I don't really want Epic Fetus, honestly. I'm, I'm defaulting to, like, uh, a rebirth mindset where I'm like, eh, Epic Fetus, actually, I think it has a place. Lemon party. I, I won't never take Epic Fetus. But if Epic Fetus shows up on a run where I've got some cool tier effects and I'm already rolling, I don't want to take Epic Fetus and just be like, alright, well the next 10 minutes, I'm going to struggle to come up with, like, any sort of engaging commentary, because we're basically just going to kick the shit out of the game, right? So, I think, um... I think it's sensible to do what we're doing here. Okay, I mean, I'm sure, Monkey's Paw, appreciate it. I'm not going to take the money at this point, um... I actually, to be honest with you, I kind of thought we were one floor deeper than we actually are, but... It's okay! In the end, we still got plenty of time, and we may not want to do boss rush anyway, unless we can get a teleport card. We may want to do it, I don't know, we'll see. I guess in the end, I shouldn't be too insulted uh, that this guy takes my money, if I decide I don't want it anyway. Swallowed Penny, uh, I think with 56 cents, is certainly like the lesser of the options that we have available as far as trinkets go right now. Well, at least I got one. Little Brim can take out the rest. Or maybe I'll just walk into them like an idiot, that's also cool. Alright, we'll take that one. If a penny spawns within, like, one Pokemon Go footstep to me, sure, I'll pick it up. But if I gotta walk, I don't think so. You know, I got errands to run. Can't be living my whole life in the Pokeverse. Red hearts? Remember when we had Dark Bum? Those were the days, except these are also kind of the days. It's like we went from a really, like, low-paying job that was incredibly fulfilling to a, a high-paying job that's, like, also pretty fulfilling, but it's not quite our dream job, but it's still, like, pretty good. We're making a good, you know, existence out of it. It's like, yeah, you know, you miss the old days, I suppose, but the new days are also, like, going relatively well. Uh, we, we might as well, as far as I'm concerned. Friends till the end. We don't have Hive Mind anymore, but it's still, you know, not a bad pickup. Now I'm actually much more stoked. I'm much stokeder, if you will. Which I think is the correct conjugation of that word. Uh, I'm much stokeder to have uh, Unicorn Horn now that I'm going to have a cube of meat to go along with it as well. And we did actually get a deal with the devil, which is kind of surprising. We will take the guppy items. And you know what? I think we'll go full on like empty vessel level, and I know that that seems a little bit foolhardy because we had good red hearts, and you know maybe we'll want to finance deals with the devil in the future, and blah blah blah. Uh, these are all good uh, examples, by the way. Good good points. Don't let me just blah 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 you into oblivion. However, I uh, I like this for the empty vessel. I'm hoping for some good invinc uh, invincibility out of it, and uh, also allowed us to get into this room, which has given us just a just a wealth of items thus far. I mean, if we have time, we may want to play that and try to get the blood bag, but it doesn't matter too much because, you know, the only reason we want the blood bag is to trade away HP regardless. Um, grab puberty pill, not worth anything. Hagalaz is a good option. I don't think it's a great option on this room, but any room that has like a lot of skulls, I'm gonna love using the Hagalaz rune. I can see forever. Pretty good. Saving Unicorn Horn as well. I don't know, this... There are at least a lot of rocks here. But I don't know if there's more than a lot of rocks. I really want to get a teleportation card out of this Hagalaz rune. Or at least, you know, we can't guarantee ourselves a teleport card. That's unrealistic. That's like saying, you know, 
my goal with this lottery ticket is to win the lottery. I mean, I guess ostensibly, yes, but, you know, it's pretty ridiculous. If you said that to someone, you'd be like, you need to speak with a counselor, you have an issue, you know? Small rock, please. Okay, uh, I don't think a golden chest can contain small rocks, so, uh, seems like my goal has been, uh, similarly thwarted. Um, okay, I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a low percentage, but we, do, we did make it work. And you thought I was stupid for saying I was gonna win the Powerball. Who's stupid now? Alright, well we're just gonna uh, donate. You know what, we have, the, we have the Hermit card so we don't even need to donate right now. We can always donate later. This is a second secret room, Cricket's head would be lovely. Uh, Steven is actually also pretty good. I really do not want to spend more time on here than is necessary, so... Um, let's try to get to this boss fight as quickly as possible. This should be easy. And there it is right there. Alright, so we will be able to take something out of boss rush. Might as well unicorn horn right away for the first time on this whole floor. That's alright. Didn't quite finish the job. Still got a minute to do it. And that seemed like less than a minute to me. No deal with the devil. We'll take the Polaroid. Get in here, okay, we got the pills, we got piercing shots. Piercing shots are the big one right now. My reflection, Bob's rotten head. It's not even a contest. Easy decision. Hermit card out. Um, I mean, it, I'm of two minds about this. Unicorn horn is not particularly strong for us right now, but at the same time, uh, is red candle what I want to be rolling with? I mean, it's better damage, but also, like, who cares, basically, is where I'm coming at this one from. Bots a remote detonator just to get the bombs. We haven't seen the item room on this floor, so we should uh, endeavor to go do that. I mean, it's not like we're on a strict time limit or anything here. Uh, let's go see if I can find that. We haven't gone to the left here. I would love it if it was just right here. Right here. And it is right here. Okay. So I'm relying on these piercing shots uh, to be pretty good. Zodiac is probably... Um, one of, one of the big surprises for me with Zodiac was finding out that the, if I remember correctly, the community consensus about Zodiac is that it's not very good. Um, and I, I think that's because it has variable impacts, and some of those impacts can be negative, especially if they're subtle. Like, you don't know about them until you're on the floor. Like, um, Zo uh, not Zodiac, um, Leo, for example, is a big one where you could just walk into a rock to use it for cover, and oh no, it's a mushroom and it exploded all over your face. No jokes, okay? Um, let's, let's explore everything. Or at least explore everything to get to the, the rooms that actually have, uh, the potential to have value for us. I think that we could get... Guppy. We need to get, like, super lust in here, though. But I would settle for regular lust and getting a syringe or something like that. Super envy and shoot the whoop, I'd be okay with. Anyway, just to put a cork in that whole, um... You know, Zodiac discussion. I still like it because I, I I like items that have variable impacts a lot of the time, but I can understand, I guess, uh, why it's not necessarily a beloved item in the community. There is a library on this floor. So, we will uh, rush that down. Decent chance to deal with the devil here as well, but we got to be somewhat sensitive about what we take on the deal with the devil. Just because our HP is not, you know, what it used to be. And L's HP, it's not what it used to be, not what it used to be. I like this, actually. Double vision, or 2020, rather. Wrong game. Uh, combined with triple shot, it has lowered our rate of fire. It may actually be a destructive synergy. I don't know if there's a word for that, like a synergy or something like that, but it may be a destructive synergy, but it's kind of fun to shoot five shots instead of, you know, two, three, or four, which are the most common permutations for sure. Um, or two, three, four, or 50, which is... Uh, Monstro's long. So I'm, I'm okay with this. I like that these items actually have a synergy with one another. They used to just completely, one of them would override the other. I don't remember specifically which was which, but um, now that they actually work the way you would expect them to work together, I got no problem taking them. It's not like it's made our run substantially less powerful anyway, I think. Um, well, this is, there's no doubt. You, you take Satanic Bible if you want, like, the easy path to victory. But I'm going to take Book of Shadows because uh, I think that with the Cube of Meat, I'm going... To, oh, God. Wow. That was lucky. Not that we can do anything with it anyway, but... Um, actually, you know what? We can. <laughs> we got the Spirit Art back out of it. 
Um, but what I was gonna say is that, um, you know, we can use this to just abuse Cube of Meat Spam on our, uh, on our boss fight, so. I think that's w what we're gonna do, uh, long term here. I guess Skolex just spawned right on top of me, or, I don't know, I'm very confused about what happened right there. Dry Baby doing work, even though the enemy is not even on the screen. That's, uh, that's my boy right there. I think you should take the HP first. And, ooh, this is such a tough decision. I think we'll... Excuse me? Okay, I guess we will just take Whore of Babylon then. I thought we were going to take both, but the other one didn't change uh, to a different cost. And I was a little concerned about what would happen if I actually walked in there and grabbed it. So, in the end, this is fine. But I will be disappointed if we missed out on a chance to get Guppy because of some weirdness there. Uh, now, we could do the Hush fight. I'm going to be a little apprehensive about doing the hush fight. Just because I, I don't think our damage is exceptional. And our HP is uh, relatively non-renewable. But, I mean, otherwise we're set up fairly well here. And I may just go for the, the easy A. If I may reference a movie that I heard was pretty good, but I've not yet seen myself. I say yet, because you never know when you're going to be on a flight, and maybe it's like the third flight you've taken that month, and you've already seen the new releases they share between airlines, and you're like, you know what? Check out the contemporary section. The contemporary section is a good opportunity to brush up on, you know, some relatively recent films that I've not had the luxury to see for one reason or another. And then you go, the Shawshank Redemption, Michael L. Fox uh, really wants me to see that movie. It's one of IMDb's highest rated movies of all time. But you go, ah, maybe I'd rather just watch Best in Show for the eighth time. Sorry, Fox. Alright, I think we're just gonna go up to the cathedral. I worry that we could uh, get our butt kicked pretty hard on the chest, or uh, on the, the blue womb that is, but... Can't help but notice we have another dice room. I think we have, uh, we have uh, an obligation, not just to uh, myself, but to you, the viewer, to check out this dice room. See what we can possibly get here. We'll also check out our curse room, which... Luckily, we can go to for free. It's not a guppy item. I had to check, not just because I'd like to get a guppy item, but because I was like, you know, if I'd gotten guppy's paw instead, we would have been in a better situation. Or got, gotten guppy's collar instead of War of Babylon, is what I mean to say. Five room. Uh, I feel like there's absolutely no benefit to doing the five room. Any other floor... And I do mean, well, any other floor except for the Womb 2 or the, or the Cathedral, for that matter. And I have no problem doing the 5 room. I love doing 5 room. I love doing Forget Me Now. It just makes no sense on the chest. Because there's, you know, the average uh, expected value of how many items you get on the chest is probably, like, zero, right? Admittedly, there's a judgment, but apart from that, you know, we're, you, what you see is what you get. So if I could get a Forget Me Now on the chest, I'll do that no problem. I'll throw away Book of Shadows for that Forget Me Now. Uh, but in terms of, like, actually doing it on the, the cathedral, not interested. I know I said we're not on a hard time limit, and I'm kind of rushing through this a little bit, but it, it's mostly because, you know, I'm just adding work for work's sake if we, if we throw on that five room. And the hush fight actually, like, does scare me. But we're heading down here, and, uh, no Yara rune. I've got to throw in a hard check for that every time now. We know where we're going. Ball of Tar, kind of boring but decent. Um, Ipecac, very scary. We'll take it. Isaac's Heart, under no circumstances do I take Isaac's Heart unless we have the greatest synergies of all time. I will take Ipecac, though. And I still feel like Ipecac, you know, I, I watch other people play Isaac from time to time. Uh, whether, you know, I, I'm just kind of like wasting my own time or waiting for a video to render, which does still happen from time to time. Uh, I mean, blank card would be sweet if we can get a tarot card. Um, and I, I, the, it's not a pet peeve, really. Like, you know, other content creators are free to describe any other item in the terms that they feel. And they have to be true to their own experiences, right? Like, my experience in Isaac is my own. Your experience in Isaac is your own, etc., etc. But one thing that annoys me on occasion is to hear people be like, Oh, Ipecac. I've only got three HP. I'm not sure if Ipecac's the right decision here. I think if you have more than one HP, Ipecac is, like, always the right decision. It's so strong. It lets you, like, def it, it, it has such a, 
bad reputation. You know, when you get in a car, you don't go, oh, this car is pretty strong. I wonder if I should get in it, though, because the chance for an accident exists. Sure, okay, that's the reality of the situation we all live in. But at the same time, you know, it's a necessary part of doing business in today's world. Today's decreasingly automotive world, anyway. Thanks a lot, Elon Musk. If that is your real name, but seriously, is it, though? Because that's pretty, like, superhero alter ego level. Easy win. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.